So in the last video, we saw that we could compile together a project with multiple files using GCC, right? So we had this command where we had GCC, we had to put in every single file that we wanted to compile together, and then we gave an output for a single name for the binary, and it was able to compile all those files together and give us that binary. Now in this video, I wanna talk a little bit about make, which is a program that allows us to create different builds for our C program. And the main benefit of this is that we can define a build like this, and then we can run a single command that executes this command for us. Makes it much easier because if we have like 30 different files, rather than having to type out every single file every time and add new files, we could simply have a single file that stores the command and we can update the command as needed and then just run a single command to get the compilation to happen. So that's the main idea of why we care about make. The way that we create a make file is actually quite simple. We do nano make file. And then what we wanna do inside of here is basically, I'll show you a very basic one, is we can give a name for the build that we wanna do, give it the files that it needs in order to complete the build, and then the command that it should execute if those files are present and available. So I can create a build named start, for instance. And in order for start to happen, there needs to be the file start.c, add.c, and add.h. If all of those files are available and present, then we're gonna run the command gcc start.c, add.c, add.h, and we're gonna output it as start. What's gonna happen is if I then run a command called make, what it will do is it will check for these files. If these files exist, then it will run this command. That's the idea of what this will do. So what we do is we type in the following. We type in make, and then we say the name of the thing that we're trying to make. So we're gonna make start. You can see here that it says start is up to date. What I have to do is I have to remove that start binary and then try that again. You can see here that it shows the command that it ran. And if I ls, you see that we do have start now available. And if I run it, it did actually compile successfully. So you can see that this is a really simple way of being able to store the commands that we want to be able to use to be able to execute you know, commands that are maybe a bit more complex. Now make actually has a lot of different utilities associated with it. It's not just used for like these single kind of builds like this. We can actually have multiple different builds inside of here for different situations. You know, we can have like a start build and then have like a test build that does something different, right? Maybe we want to set some flags in GCC or change some different values. We can do things like that as well. We can also store like variables and run different scripts inside of a make file too. So there's actually a lot of complexities that exist inside of make files and there's other different types of makes like CMake. And we'll discuss these as we continue on learning different concepts in C. I really just wanted to give you the basic introductory idea of what a make file is. That way you have these foundations set and as we continue on with using make files, we can introduce more ideas related to the concept of doing a make. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.